Now I might be getting a little carried away, but I think we're definitely going to win the Champions League this season. 11 goals in our first two games. We've only conceded two as well. Let me show you what I hope we've done in the league. And we'll get on to our games today against Ajax and the dreaded Barcelona. <laughs> at the league we've only had two games to play since that fantastic demolition 6-1 of SC Basel we've played Randers and we've continued our goal scoring form with a 5-1 win absolutely fantastic blew them away we show you the goals here Omega got a hat trick Schmitty and Asbjorn Jorgensen off the mark as well this team is just playing so well um, we are the best team in Denmark as it stands we haven't lost yet in the league but it's just wonderful to see. So Fatu finds Chimiti, wonderful goal to make it 1-0. Chimiti and Omega, they are our strike force, I can see for a while to come. Neymar into Omega, lovely poachers finish inside the six yard box, but it wasn't all for Omega. Neymar into Chimiti, lovely cross here from Chimiti and Omega again with the poachers finish in the six yard box. And lastly, I say lastly, Ame into Fatawu. Jorgensen gets the fourth goal, but Omega, he wanted that match ball. And it did come after we did concede quite a sloppy goal to Randers. So Paul, damn you Paul, heads it in from the six yard box, but not to be outdone. Jorgensen finds Omega. And yes, that was a big deflection, but it all matters. And a very nice hat trick for Omega. And if we look at kind of how he is performing so far in the league, or just in any competition as we are standing, 12 games, one, one substitution appearance, 11 goals, two assists. He's played 11 in the league with seven goals and four in two Champions League games so far. Thank you, Manuel Omega. To remember as well, we've spent 14 million on this guy. He was a club record when we did buy him. And I think he had a pretty decent return of goals to his games ratio. Obviously, first half of the season he had with us, he got one in three, and then 20 in 28 in the league in his second full season with us. Seven in 19, and now seven in 11. He's already matched last season's goal tally. We're not rotating the squad as much as we did before. So I think Omega and Schmidt are gonna improve on their goal ratio from last season. Looking at the competitions, we are top of the Super League. 12 games played, 10 wins, 2 draws, obviously no losses there, plus 23 goal difference. We are currently 5 points ahead of FC Copenhagen, but we're here today to face Ajax and to face off against the mighty Barcelona. Let's get into the games today and I'll see you on the other side. Now, we've only got one real change to the squad that destroyed Basel. And Fatu has come in as the right sided Mazala. Let's give him some more game time. Although, Bookman, looking at you, you've got kind of a fitness concern there. So, we're going to bring James Gomez in. Now, Gomez, unfortunately, because of Diamande's appearance in the squad, I say appearance like he just appeared, <laughs> he is the one that has unfortunately been pushed out of the squad with Bookman being our main strong our main centre-back partner for Ozzyman Diamande. We are coming up against an old favourite as well with Mohamed Kudus. We did try and get him in the summer, he turned us down. Let's make him kind of regret that decision there. Mariba, Agume, Fatu and Diamande as our midfield four, with Omega and Schmitty up top as well. And strangely enough, they're starting with Mohamed Kudu up front. Interesting decision. We'll see how that plays out for Ajax. But let's not forget it. Demand more in the first few minutes. And I'm kind of expecting another dominant win here. So Ariane B into Mariba. Back to Gomez. Agume. Fatawu. Diamande. Omega's hit it from distance. It's only just gone over the bar. He's full of confidence at the moment. Him and Chimiti. I can't, can't praise him enough. They're going to be here for a long, long time, unless 
a crazy bid comes in. But for now, very happy with those two as our main strike force going forward. Now Calvin Bassey for Ajax is a player I've been looking at as well, potentially as a left-back position, but no moves to improve that position just yet. And Salah, what a fantastic save that was from Conte Sal. Taylor now into Darami. Was he offside? I think Darami was offside. And Adaman Moore hasn't really done much yet. Maybe this formation isn't going to play into Ajax's style of play. Although Chimiti, love that. He's back to defend. Dear Mande, to Dear Mande. Fatabu now. He has got time, but he has run into Darami there. A little bit wasteful by Fatabu. So Winge now down the left-hand side, back to Bassi. It looks like they're playing him as a centre-back rather than a left-back. Wrench on the right-hand side. Lovely run into the box for him. Ame clears it away. Agume clears it away. All systems go for this straight away. Fatui to Omega. Wonderful goal. No point checking this referee. He was miles on side. Goal awarded. No surprise there. Fatui, what a fantastic pass this was. Cut the two defenders apart. And Omega, he's full of confidence. Slots it past the unrushing Gorta. And what else are we going to do? We're going to demand more. We're going to go into half time, hopefully with the lead here. But a second goal would be nice. Chimiti now into Omega. Plenty of space. He has shot. It is deflected and Gorta has got his hands to it. It seems to be all FC Norseland at the minute. 65% possession, 7 shots, 3 on target. It's very comfortable so far. Touch wood. Nothing is going to change in the second half. We are going to say that we are far from pleased though. They can, they can do a lot better. What I will do, I think I'm going to change to the 4-4-2. Dear Mande, he's going to come off. We're going to bring on Solomon Sake. And then naturally, Agume and Fatou will swap around. Fatou on the right hand side. Agume as our anchor. And then Solomon Sake coming on for the books, dear Mande. Not a lot to say. We will demand more yet again because we are a very demanding manager. And if we look at kind of how the league table is going at the moment. We're still going to be near the top, surely. At least first or second. We've scored so many goals in this Champions League group phase already. Diamande, lovely ball out to Ariane B. Gives it back to Gomez. Agume. What have we got? Lovely ball to Chimiti. Chimiti tries to cut it past the Fatawu. Iliax Mariba. A bit of a loose pass there. Daramini has picked it up. And Bassi. That's a terrible miss header by Gomez, and we have been saved by the crossbar. Is it time to bring Gomez off? I think I think it just might be. Gomez on a booking. We're gonna bring Bookman in. He was on a fitness concern, but we'll bring you out. Mariba as well. Christensen will play you as the anchor. You know what, Agume, you can drop down as well. We'll bring you in. Diamande, he is slightly fatigued, but I don't want to take off another centre midfielder. Centre back, I should say. Three changes there. We'll give him 10 minutes and then rest some more legs afterwards. So Agume, potentially Diamande. We'll leave Chimiti. Has Omega moved over to the right hand side? He has. This happens too often to my liking on this. We'll move him back across. Wrench of a tackle there on Sake, and he has been sent off. We have missed that. Will they show a replay? They haven't done. We're going to demand more. Five minutes to go. We'll make our last couple of subs here. Agume for Jorgensen. We'll leave our two strikers up there. Omega, please stay up as a centre forward. And Ariane B or Diamande. You know what? Ariane B will bring you off. Poor chance, Elzola. We'll give you a little bit of game time here. Omega, lovely ball to Sake. Lovely first time shot, but Gorta was more than equal to it. I think the one good thing about Emmanuel Omega is he can play on the wings as well. However, with his six foot five, his strength, his jumping, 
he seems wasted out there for my liking and I think we've just been undone by a very nice goal there by 10 men Ajax very typical if this is going to come against us Nachi in the box has been disallowed we've got away with one there surely was that close no okay he was miles offside Ross pay attention to the game we're going to skip that we're going to time to focus if we do get another shell we have done but Schmidt is injured I mean, we've got 30 seconds to see out the game, but Chimiti being injured, I don't like that. We have beaten Ajax, but at what cost? So it's not as bad as first feared, but Chimiti will be out for two to five weeks, two to three weeks if we use the physio, which we will do. Unfortunately, though, it does mean that he is out of the game for Barcelona. Speaking of Barcelona, let's get into it. Hopefully, he'll be back by then. But if not, we're looking at a door blessing to step up into Chimiti's shoes and hopefully get a goal against Barcelona. So before we get into the blockbuster game against Barcelona, a couple of fixtures to keep you informed on. After we beat Ajax 1-0, we then faced Silkeborg IF and beat them comfortably 3-0. The league is a bit of a kind of an afterthought for us. We're going to do well in the league, regardless of who we put out. I think our squad is quite quite rounded enough now that we can get performances in the league, so we can focus just on the Champions League. We then had a 2-0 win against Odense Bod Club. Bismarck getting off the mark again, and Youssef end the series. Been a backup player so far. We have offered him out for some loans and for some transfers, but no one's come nibbling just yet. A player that would like to get off the wage bill and 12 million would be nice to bring into the bank as well and lastly you can't see it on that sh uh, that list there but we did face fa 2000 what a weird name we faced in the debut pokemon and we beat the mate one a do blessing getting two in this game yabua getting a goal and two assists i won't go through all of them today but it was a very nice victory for our our youth prospects but we're here for Barcelona, let's get into it and hopefully we can pick up a famous win and we're at home as well, which is always nice. Now we are struggling slightly regarding strikers, both Enlisiri and Chimiti are both injured, so a Doe Blessing and a Mega are only strikers to face Barcelona today. We're going to go back to our right to dream tactic, which is the 4-3-1-2. I've never played Barcelona in Football Manager 23 just yet. Let's get into it and hopefully we'll get a famous win. Let's see how the Barcelona team is lining up. So Blahalovic, Torres, Pedri, Gavi, Dembele. De Jong, Balde, Hernandez, Arujo, and Gertrude. I'll be honest, I'm not too familiar with a couple of their backline players. But first day getting goal is going to be mean competition for us to play up against. And we will demand more because that's how we play our football. And I'm hoping our tactic is quite compact. Diamande though from tacky midfielder. Not sure what that finish was. Two and a half minutes in. Could have been a dream start for us against Barcelona. But more of that. And I'm sure we can cause an upset here. As Balde bursts down the left. All the way back to Gertrude. And he's hit it from distance. And it's come off the crossbar. I think Salah had that covered. But a little bit of a danger sign from themselves to us as well. As Ter Stegen kicks off the highlight for Barcelona. Gertrude into Gavi. De Jong out to Balde. Balde was a player that we were looking at, but let's just say he's a little bit out of our price range as Pedri picks up on a loose ball from Mariba. Blahalovic goes for goal. Salah stops it. It looks like it was offside. Mariba facing his former club today. Can he pull off an upset? Can he show them what they're missing out on? 
as not a lot is happening so far, which will suit us down to the ground. As May throws the ball into Omega, back to May, finds Omega again, a door blessing in the box, gives it back to May, swings it in, Diamande with the header, but it has just eluded him as Dembele gets to run down the left-hand side here, but Mariba does win the ball back and gives it to Ariane B. Agume with a poor pass, and it has been picked up. Ferran Torres out to Dembele. Gertrude back to Dembele. Into Gavi. Pedri, lovely stop by Uzuman Diamande. And we do try and clear it out, but it has just ended. I mean, we're not doing too bad. We are drawing 0-0 with Barcelona. Who would have thought that? at the start of this game save, but you have to beat the best to be the best. We're currently top of the championship group with nine points from three games, although this looks dangerous. De Jong, I reckon the top right hand corner there, can Salah pull off a wonder save? He can't, it does hit off the crossbar though, and Arian B manages to clear it out. Blahalovic into De Jong again. Mariba is closing him down, which is good to see. We are gonna demand more again, but it has gone out for a goal kick. Now is being positive, are we risking it against Barcelona? I'm not too sure just yet, but we're not going to change how we do play. Vlahalovic blocked away by Buchmann. Vlahalovic again, and he just spoon it over the bar. I mean, there's a couple of changes that we can make here. Adoa Blessing being one of them, and Diamande. To be fair, a lot of our midfield, look like they are struggling. Just going to pause it so no cheeky goals go in. Left back, we're going to bring Nagalo in to left back. I mean, Wisdom of May isn't playing too great either. Who else do we have here? Lucien Agume. Can add to come in as the box to box midfielder. But maybe we'll just drop you just down as the CDM. Asbjorn Jorgensen, doing fine at the minute. Mariba, he looks slightly tired as well. So we're going to bring in Christensen. And lastly, I mean, a Doha Blessing, we've got Fatou and Umar. Not sure what we should be doing here. I mean, Fatou can play as a striker. I think we're going to go to a 4-3-3 formation. Dear Mande out on the right. Sorry, a 4-3-1. I think we're going to do something like this. A Doha Blessing is going to come off. Fourth Batawu, Diamande on the left, Omega up front, Christensen, Jorgensen and Kana. Let's see what that will do for us going forward. As a main, throws it into Diamande. I think this is just a highlight of what happens when you do make a change. So Agume, Diamande, Mariba over to Adoa Blessing. Is it one of those? It is one of those. He has just blazed it way over the bar there. A good run around today for Adoa Blessing. However, Barcelona with Rafinha. Dangerous corner, whips it in, Buckman heads it away. Usman Dembele runs into the box, has been blocked, and Salah quite gratefully does pick it up. I just saw that Diamande is having a pretty poor game so far. Saki's nervous, so I don't really want to bring him in. Namar's nervous as well. I mean, it's 25 minutes to go. We're going to bring Aliou Balde in. Hasn't played much for us this season, but he's more composed than the other two options that we could have brought in. And I'll be honest, I don't want any nervous players as it comes to playing Barcelona. Now we've got 10 minutes to go and another highlight has started. So Araujo into Gabi. Is that Max Ahrens at right back? What a transfer that is. Lewandowski, forgot all about him. Surprised he's still playing now. He must be like 38, 39. But Araujo to Gabi to Dembele. Nagalo, you got sucked in too easily then. Dembele. Nagalo does win it back though, into Araujo. We're not used to this formation here, so I'm not quite sure how Omega's going to play, leading the line here. He has picked up the ball very nicely, gives it to Jorgensen, into Fatou, into Christensen. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, that was our chance. That was our chance. I mean, we're just going to tell him just to focus for the last five minutes. Though we have got a corner. Is the unthinkable going to happen here? Christensen. What have we got? Crosses it in. Buckman heads it away. Amay into the box though. What have we got? Oh, he's shot. Why didn't he pass Amay? Balde now on the left. Gives it into Christensen. Swings it wide 
to Fatawu, into Jorgensen. Kana, back to Fatawu. What's he gonna do? It's been blocked. Balde though, can pick it up on the left. No, he can't. There's another highlight. This is non-stop now. Kana, into Jorgensen. Tackled by Araujo. Picks it up again though, into Amay, into Fatawu. Tackled by Fernandez. This could spell danger. Although Kana has intercepted it. Into Amay. Dear Mande now. Buckman. Nagalo nicely around the back. Christensen could have won it for us. I mean, is this just going to play itself out? Aaron's has cynically brought down Balde. Is there a free kick to end the game? I don't think it's going to be much on this highlight, but Fatu over the ball. It's a fantastic result at 0 0, but can we go just a little bit further? Swings it in by Fatu. Diamande at the back post. And it has been claimed by Terstegen. Very happy with that. What a result. 0-0 at home against Barcelona. They have done well to avoid defeat. Although Eintracht Frankfurt have just overtaken us at the top of the table. We're not going to worry about that. But a fantastic result against Barcelona. So a little update on the league before we end the episode. In the 3F Superliga played 14, we've won 12, drawn 2, 38 points on the board with 7 ahead of Copenhagen and in the Champions League we are second top with 10 points from 4 games. Very, very nice to see. Now in terms of when we're going to return, we have the dreaded AS Monaco, I think we played them pretty much every season that we have been in Europe and also CFR Cluj. I want another six points here because after that it's Man United and FC Bayern. But for now, if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you when we go away to Monaco. Goodbye.